Greetings fellow engineers and welcome here on Tartarus Inc. Today I want to show you my latest build, the TIS Roma. It's a big old small grid truck and trailer with a mixed grid interior. But let me show you around. First let's take a look at the trailer. On top of it you can see a docked car which I will cover later. Inside the trailer there are a refinery, oxy hydro generator, an assembly and a large hydrogen engine. There are also two walkways to access different control units for the trailer itself. One of those folds out the solar panels on the side. Now to the truck itself. Let's hop onto the lift on the side and get inside the truck. Here you will find a pretty big living room with a kitchen, a bed, a bath, couch with fold down LCD, an armory and lots more. You also get a nice view from the windows on both sides and get some sunlight from the windows on top. At the front you will naturally find the cockpit. Besides the driving you can also control the missile cannon turret at the front. Fold up the spotlights and fold out the solar panels. The truck itself is powered by two large grid batteries which are charged by the solar panels of both the trailer and the truck as well as the aforementioned hydro engine in the trailer. On top of the truck you will find the communication device as well as a fully operatable crane. So. Let's hop into the crane, extend the stabilizers and get to working. This crane's primary use is to unload the car from the top of the trailer. So let's do that. First, let's unlock the pallet on top of the trailer. Now, let's jump back into the crane. The crane can be operated by using WASD, SPACE, C, Q and E and it has a magnetic plate to attach itself to the item it wants to lift. Now that the car is safely on the ground, let's take a look at it. But first we need to lock the pallet to the ground, unlock the car from the pallet itself and fold in the clamps behind the wheels. Now let's open the door, jump into the car and slowly drive backwards. The car itself is called the TAS K9. It has opening and closing doors and runs on battery and hydrogen power. It's a pretty straightforward build I would say and I wanted to build something that kinda resembles a hot rod. And well, that's it for today. As mentioned before, I am not quite ready to release my stuff onto the workshop again, but maybe in the future. Despite of that, I still hope you liked it and if so, be sure to headbutt that like button, drop kick the bell and German suplex the shit out of the sub button. And if you are a German fella, be sure to check out my Twitch channel linked below. And as always, keep on engineering and cheers!